Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Unbelievably, September has ended and we are already in October, which is crazy to me. This year feels like it's going by so fast. Let me know if you're feeling that way too. I can't believe it's already October, but that means that it is time for September monthly favorites. If you have not seen this series before, every month at the end of the month, I like to do a little recap of my monthly favorites. So not only things I've purchased, but also new products that I've tried, experiences I've had, restaurants, travels, anything I've been up to that month. And this month is a really good one. I have a lot of really cool things to share with you. And I'll just kick it off by saying that I actually did a no buy for the month of September which was only partially successful because I did end up buying certain things but I think after doing the no buy the goal of which was to kind of save money and just slow down and like really think about everything I'm purchasing I think that because I was doing that the things that I did end up purchasing are things that are either things I've been wanting for a really long time things that are really like valuable and useful to me things that have really good quality so that's really what this video is there's also some experience experiences and things thrown in here. But overall my experience with the no buy was really good. I highly recommend doing it. Like if you feel like you've just been kind of spending money and you don't know where your money goes or you buy things and then you kind of regret it later. Like I think that maybe doing a no buy for a month or even a week or two could really be a good way to like reassess what you really are spending your money on. For me, I knew that I was spending way too much money on like eating out and shopping and like buying random little treats everywhere. So once I made it a rule to myself to stop doing that, I think it really helped me appreciate a lot the times that I did get something to eat or that I did purchase something. So that was my project for September. I think it really helped me a lot. And also I'm getting ready for a trip to Paris in the next couple weeks. So obviously it helps me save a lot of money towards Paris because I will be shopping in Paris and I'm very excited for that. So now that I've done this little reset, I want to just jump into some monthly favorites. So the first thing I wanna talk about, this is actually a little different for me because I got some products gifted to me this month and I actually have not opened them yet. I thought the monthly favorites would be a really good time to open this package up and try everything out and give you guys my honest opinion. So I have this package from a brand called Silver Wind Activewear. They did gift me a couple of items. As you can tell already, it comes in a 100% compostable mailer. So that's really cool that it's not a plastic mailer. And then just opening it up, it looks like my first impression is that there's no extra packaging inside, which I really like that because a lot of stuff you order online, it just comes with so much unnecessary extra plastic and it looks like this has none. So that's really cool. Okay, this one has like a little rope around it with a little tag, but other than that, there's no extra packaging. Looks like they also sent me a little scrunchie. This is a little extra, so I really like this. This little guy is a pair of bike shorts and it has a tag on it that says meet the makers. So it looks like there's a QR code where you can actually scan this and see more information about the people that made the product, which is really cool. Opening these up, first off, I love the color of these. Anyone who knows me knows that I love lilac, but these are the shorts. These look really comfortable. They feel really nice. It's like a buttery soft texture is what they call the fabric. And the fabric that they use in this line is called RPET, which is a recycled fabric made from water bottles and this is a third-party verified sustainable brand so that's really cool to know that the activewear is made with a sustainable material and then this is the other thing I got it's a sweatshirt and it has these really cute little snaps on the side so like when you're wearing it you can wear it like this and then you can open the snap so I'm gonna try this stuff on in a second and I will show you guys what it looks like but first impression I really like this the quality feels really nice and as I said these products were gifted to me but if you look at the pricing on their website it's actually a lot more affordable than a lot of other sustainable brands that are out there I have a 20% off code for you guys I will put it on the screen right here and also link it down below so if you want to look at their website and if you find anything you like you can get 20% off and I'll insert a clip really quick of me trying everything on. Okay, I'm gonna show you what the set looks like on, but before I do this, I have never tried on clothes on camera on my YouTube channel before. Self-confidence and body confidence is something I am really working on. So I just wanna say that because I feel like saying it will make me feel a little more comfortable doing this for the first time. But 
This is what the set looks like on. I really like it. It's super comfortable. I really like that the sweatshirt has these snaps because I have a tattoo around my shoulder. That's my favorite tattoo. So that's kind of cute that I can show it off. And then the shorts are very comfy too. I actually don't really have a pair of workout like activewear shorts i have a lot of leggings but no shorts so these are great i love the color they have little side pockets which is really nice ultimately i feel very good in this like i said it's hard for me to get on camera and show like my full body and what i look like in clothes but I really like this set. I think it looks really cute. Like I said, there is a link down below. I'll put it on the screen here too for a 20% off code if you wanna look through their collection. They have a lot of other items that have like really fun prints and colors and everything. I am definitely more of like a solid colors girly, but if you like prints, this is a really good brand to check out. So I will link everything down below. Go check it out and get your 20% off. Another thing that I did end up buying this month, which is a little bit new for me, is I bought a subscription box. So I decided to try FabFitFun, which I had heard of before, but I had never tried it. This is not sponsored at all. This is just completely like my own thing that I decided to do myself and I paid for it myself. But I decided to sign up for FabFitFun because I have really been wanting the Always Pan, which is this like very viral, very Instagrammable cookware pan and it's quite expensive. So I saw that FabFitFun was doing a promo where if you sign up for an annual membership with FabFitFun, you get an Always Pan for free and like the way that the pricing worked out it really made it very worth it plus the items that were in the FabFitFun box looked really cute so I did do the FabFitFun and I actually have a clip of me unboxing everything from FabFitFun so I will insert that as well okay the first thing I see when I open this is something that was not part of my order but I guess it's like an extra little freebie so this is smart water passion fruit mango flavor next is this fabric shaver from the brand mercy Mercy. i have needed a fabric shaver so when i saw that this was one of the items available for you to pick i was really excited for this because it's going into fall we're going into sweater season a lot of my sweaters from last season need to be like depilled and shaved so i will definitely be using this this is the plum plump hyaluronic serum from glow recipe and my sister told me about this product. She said she really likes it. Oh my God, it's in the cutest little like glass bottle that's shaped like a plum. I don't know if you can really tell, but it's adorable. I work in the beauty industry, so I have so much skincare stuff that I've gotten from work that I probably could never use in a million years. And I really don't need another since skincare thing. So, I might send this to my sister. Her birthday's coming up, so I think I'm gonna send it to her. Next, there is this thing. This is called Stone Candles Scented Diffuser. So this is like a little thing that you hang up and it's like a scented diffuser thing. It smells really clean and fresh, so maybe I'll hang that in the bathroom. Next, there is this. Juliet has a gun, not a perfume. I was also really excited when I saw this on the list of options for FabFitFun because I have heard people say that this is a really good dupe for the Glossier perfume because I love the Glossier perfume. It's basically the only perfume that I wear but people have said this and I've noticed that I think it's true that the Glossier perfume was reformulated and it doesn't smell, it smells the same, but it doesn't last the same way that it used to. Like you spray it, it smells good for a few minutes and then it kind of fades away. But I've heard people say that this, like a very similar scent, but it lasts a lot longer. So I'm gonna spray it and see what I think of the scent. Ooh, yeah. I definitely see why people say that this reminds them of Glossier. Oh, this smells really good. Okay, I'm super excited for this. And also it's in like a little travel tube, so I could probably put it in my bag. Speaking of Glossier, the next thing is this Glossier Birthday Balm.com. I love the Balm.com. I have a bunch of them. I always keep one with me, like one in my desk, one in my nightstand, one in my purse, one in my bathroom. But I have never tried the Birthday Flavor. Um, one thing I noticed right away is that this is the older packaging of this item. Glossier recently redid the packaging for Balm.com, so it doesn't really surprise me that they're selling it in FabFitFun because I'm assuming they're trying to like get rid of all the old stock that's in the old packaging. Ooh, I think this is also a really good like fall scent because it smells kind of like 
vanilla and cream and it's like very fall vibes so this is great i love glossy i love this product and the last thing that's in here is honestly the thing i was most excited for it's this alice and olivia hold on i'm gonna take it out of the bag it's this alice and olivia weekender bag in black and white stripe and i love this i've been needing to buy a weekender bag and i've been putting it off and i haven't found the one that i like so i saw this on fabfitfun and honestly the always pan deal, which we're gonna get to the always pan in a second, plus this being in the box were the things that kind of like convinced me to just order the box and do the annual deal because a lot of this stuff was things that I've been thinking about getting anyway and then they were in the box and it was a really good price. So I love this little bag. So this is great. I'm actually going on a little weekend trip with my boyfriend and some friends in like two weeks from now. So I will be bringing this on my trip. Welcome to our place. We saved you a seat. That's cute. It looks like this is the lid on the top. This is the color, you guys. I really like this color. There is a color that they have right now that's like a limited edition dark pink. I think it's called Rosa Pink. It's really pretty. That's the one that I would have ordered if I was ordering this myself, but because I did it through FabFitFun, I didn't get to choose the color. I do really like this color though. And this is the pan. It says your new nesting steamer basket for dumplings, veggies, and more. This is the steamer basket and it has another like little cardboard thing and then this is the pan i think this is the last thing in here so i'm gonna put the box down but this is the pan it's so nice like this is definitely like a highly instagrammable pan and i think that's why it's gotten so popular but like it's really beautiful i love the color it's like heavy but it's not unmanageable you know like it's good quality i am so excited to use this i have like terrible terrible pots and pans well really i have one pan and one pot and one like copper pan that i got a long time ago they're like terrible quality they're falling apart so i really needed something like this i'm very excited to get rid of my crappy old ones that are falling apart and replace it with this and do my first little meal cooked in this so that is everything from my fall fabfitfun box i also decided to invest in some new dishware this month and again i bought these myself it was not sponsored but there's this girl that i follow on instagram her instagram is really cute i'll link it down below it's called my philly home and her name is kate she has the most beautiful home decor space when i moved to philly i think i found her instagram just from searching like philadelphia home design or something and i found her page i love following her but she had posted a photo of her kitchen and she had these dishes that i thought were so beautiful and i asked her where she got them and they're from this handmade like small business company called mora ceramics so i ordered a set of plates and bowls from them in a second i'm gonna insert a clip of me unboxing those so you can see what they looked like but they are so beautiful you guys they're these like beautiful pastel colors and it's really inspiring what i want to do with my kitchen makeover because i'm planning to do some renter friendly like diy upgrades in my kitchen heavily inspired by the color palette of these plates so in the clip that i'm gonna insert i think at the end i'm talking about how there's one item that's missing from the box they actually were not missing they were just in a separate shipment that i got later and unfortunately three of the plates arrived cracked so i reached out to the company and they're gonna replace them for me for free the customer service has been really good so far I love these dishes. So I'll stop talking about them and I'll just let you guys see what they look like. So my dishes arrived from Mora Ceramics and I ordered a bunch of new plates and bowls. So I'm going to unbox them for you. Okay, all the boxes are labeled with what is what. So let's start with this one. It is a set of six plates. I think these are the small salad plates. Okay, so when I get this open, it looks like they're all like nested in here and like cardboard and foam and this is what they look like these are so beautiful they have this like speckly pattern and they're all different colors so like this one i think is the purple one okay now i'm a little concerned because i just looked through the whole box and it looks like i got the small plates this box is the set of four bowls and then and the other one is the other bowls so it looks like my Dinner plates are missing from the order, so that's kind of disappointing. I'm gonna have to figure out what happened with that. They're like stacked up in the foam and the cardboard. So the bowls are a green one, a blue one, pink one, and a purple one. And I love these, these are gorgeous. Again, they're so much nicer than the ones I have. I just have like 
plain white bowls and I love those. They're adorable. And these are the pasta bowls. They're so cute. These are the same colors it looks like as the other ones. So this is what everything looks like. I think they're really pretty. And this pastel color story is really what's inspiring my kitchen makeover so we will see where it goes from there okay that's enough with products i want to talk about something else i did this month that i thought was really fun that i want to recommend that other people try so i got this idea because about a year ago i went to a party like this that was hosted by one of my friends and then this year i decided to host one myself i had this little party i just called it girl party because you know the whole girl dinner girl math thing is like going around right now so i just called the party girl party but basically what it was was that i invited some of my friends and I said please bring someone with you who doesn't know everyone else so like bring a friend who's not already like in the friend group you know so it was a really great way for people to like meet new people I love when like I have had individual friendships and then slowly you like bring it all together and like you watch your friends become friends with each other like to me that's a super special thing so this party was kind of inspired by that idea of just like helping people get to know each other I know that when I moved to Philly it was really nice that I got invited to a party like this and it really helped me build new friendships and meet new people we had a really good time I think there was like 14 or 15 people in total that came so it was like a good mix of friends that I already knew and then their friends that came with them. I wish I had taken like any photos or videos. I'm pretty sure the only video I have I will insert here, which is of my friend Zainab feeding treats to my cat before everyone else arrived, but that was really sweet. But yeah, this fall, if you wanna make new friends, try to host a party like this. I just did it like a potluck, like I asked everyone to bring something with them, like snack or drink. Everyone brought white wine, so we had like so many bottles of white wine. We had tons of snacks, and like it was really easy and fun. We just did it on a Friday night. The last two things I wanna talk about are more like experience type things. So number one, there is a really cute new coffee and cocktail bar that opened in Philadelphia. It's on Spruce Street at 16th and Spruce and it's called Endswell. It is so beautifully decorated and in the morning it's like a coffee bar so they have coffee and like croissants and pastries and stuff like that. Then they close for the afternoon and then in the evening it's like a cocktail bar and they have some small plates and like a little bit of food. It is pretty small like they don't have a lot of seats but I've been there twice. I've been there to have coffee in the morning and I've been there for drinks. And when we went for drinks, we just went like right when it opened and we were the first people there and we sat at the bar, we chatted with the bartender and it was a great time, but it definitely filled up kind of quickly after that. So if you wanna go, I might try to go like right when they open, but this place is awesome. Like the vibes are so good. Everyone's really friendly that works there and the menu is fantastic. So highly, highly recommend. And then the other great experience I had this month, this is like so kind of random, but I took my cats to a new vet in Philadelphia and I had a fabulous experience and I just wanted to share it with you because I had been taking my cats to a different vet. I'm not gonna say their name because whatever but there was a different vet that I had taken my cats to in Center City that I had a very bad experience with like they just the wait time was really long they didn't allow you to go inside with your animal they never called me to tell me my cats were ready to be picked up so I was waiting like an hour and then I called them and I was like hi like just checking if they're done and they were like yeah they've been done for 30 minutes like why didn't you come get them and I was like nobody ever told me so the customer service was really bad. Then I got my bill and the bill was messed up. Like there was charges for things that shouldn't have been there. They got the cat's names mixed up on their records. Like it was just very disorganized. The people were really rude. Like overall it was such a bad experience. And I was like, yeah, I'm never taking the cats back here. So I was looking for a new vet and I decided to take them to City Cat Vet on South Street. It's at like 22nd and South, I wanna say. And I love this vet. I had like a 180 experience at this place. Like. I did have to wait a little bit when I got there, but I feel like that's very normal for like vets or like even people doctors, like you have to wait a while before your appointment. But once I got into the appointment, the tech that was assisting the vet was really nice. The vet himself was super nice. He was very friendly. He like didn't make me feel like I was being rushed at all. He answered all my questions. He talked to me. He seemed to really care about them and like do a very thorough exam with both of them. And they clipped their nails, which the cats did not like, but they just like kept a smile on their face and they did the service 
and it was great. And one of my cats has some health concerns. And so I was asking a lot of questions about that and he answered everything for me. Just, he was just like super kind, friendly, informative, like did his job and was very like happy doing it. And that's the experience I would like to have when I take my animals to the vet. They also made it really easy for me to get all the paperwork I needed to submit to my pet insurance to get reimbursed for the visit. So they made that really easy. And yeah, maybe I just feel so positive about this because I had such a bad experience with my previous vet, but I just wanted to shout them out because I had a really, really positive experience taking my cats there. And I would highly recommend if you're in the Rittenhouse Square area, City Cat Vet on South Street is the place to go. And it's also a cat only vet, which I've never taken my cats to a cat only vet before. I've always taken them to vets that did dogs and cats. And my cats are very afraid of dogs. Like anytime I've taken them to the vet before and there's been a dog in the waiting room, like they get very anxious about that. They're already anxious enough going to the vet, but this vet is cats only, which was kind of nice because the only other animals there were other cats and they're fine with other cats. So that was really cool too. So guys, that is it for this month's monthly favorites. As always, it's kind of a mix of everything, products, experiences, places, Philly recommendations, all of that good stuff. Definitely subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Don't forget to check out Silverwind Activewear. There's a 20% off code in the description and I will put it again on the screen right here. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you in my next video. Bye.